And we are live. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Tomer. If anyone doesn't know me, I'm the protocol lead of Good Dollar. Uh, with us here, uh, Adar, Amit, Dorit, Jess. If everybody can say hi and present themselves for a short while. Hi, everyone. I'm Adar. I'm the technical lead at Good Dollar, and uh, it's, I'm really excited to be here. Amit, Jess, anyone wants to say hey? Hello, everyone. Amit, creative. Hi, everyone. Dorit, operations. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. Like, we don't take it for granted that you uh, take from your time to come and ask questions and to explore with us how are we uh, rebuilding, you know, this new world economy. Um, I see so many names that are familiar from the channel here, and it makes me so excited uh, to get like your engagement with us. Uh, I will let Jess, Jess will be with that by presenting a bit about, for those who don't know, what is Good Dollar? Um, what does, uh, what is Good Dollar? How do we, what do we do? Um, and from there, we'll move into the questions that you guys asked. Uh, we'll divide it between me and Nadal. Obviously, you are welcome to be asking uh, questions in the chat, and we'll make sure to answer as much as much questions as possible. Uh, Jess, you're with us to take it. To be connected. Uh, I guess Jess is not connected. Okay. Maybe I will just start. Jess, if you connect in the meanwhile, let me know. Can everybody see my uh, big screen? Is yes, but put it in present mode. Uh, when I do, it doesn't present to everybody. It presents only to me. I think the, I think they can see it. Um, yeah, I, said, I yeah, see. I see. Hey, everybody. Says yes. So. Robbie, Rob, you said yes. So, okay. Yes, here we go. So, good dollar. Uh, I would start if Jess, Jess if joins in, please take the lead on that. So, a bit of what are we going to do in the good DAO community AMA? Um, the idea is to go over what is the good DAO. What is the good token that is representing your participation in the DAO? And to get to the bottom line of like, how are you guys able to participate? How, what is the control that we give you guys and how can you use it? Um, so um, a bit about myself, Tomer, uh, token economics um, lead here in Good Dollar, been in crypto world since 2014, uh, working since pro like projects in Africa and AMAs, uh, love crypto, love social change, uh, I don't know. I'm so glad to be working on what I like to do. And Adar. Hi. So, um, yeah, uh, what can I say as well? Um, good dollar is my, uh, is what I always wanted to do. And hopefully, um, you know, we are trying to create the blueprints for, uh, for something new. So today's agenda will go a few minutes about introduction, why a DAO, about the good DAO version one that we are launching, what does the DAO decide on, and what does it doesn't decide on, which is also as important. How can you participate? When and how will the DAO go? The snapshot, when will it happen? How would the snapshot be calculated? Claiming your good tokens, how would you do it? And then we have a session for open questions. So you guys can hold on uh, to your questions. So we'll start with what is good dollar? Um, so, good dollar is a truly Jessica joined. Hi, Jess? hi, Jess. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but I heard your introduction. So, nice job. thank you. So, you want to continue? <laughs> take it from here, like we just started no, with what is good. I think you're dollar. on a roll. I think you're on a roll, and we can talk about okay, everyone and ask their questions. Okay, so first of all, good dollar is a community driven universal basic income protocol. What does it mean to be community driven? First of all, we are 100% non for profit that was founded by Yoni Asia and sponsored by Ito. That means that we are true non, non for profit. Obviously, we have a salary, but we were determined not to have a business model for the entity that is called good dollar around good dollar foundation around good dollar in order to 
make sure that uh, our incentives remain pure. In addition to that, Godot is 100% fair lunch. What does fair lunch mean? Fair lunch is when there is no pre-minting of good dollar tokens. It means that the amount of tokens that of good dollar tokens that I hold as the as the token economic state or DAO is the was the CTO or was Yoni Asia is the person who is donating the mana or Ito is exactly the same. We hold exactly the same amount of tokens and have the ability to interact and buy tokens or or claim tokens just like anybody else. Um, third, we are an open innovation. Everything we develop is open for other people to use. We don't just say it because you know it's cool now to talk about an open source movement. We talk about it because we do want to see other people building in it. We invite the other builders in the audience to come to us, to ask about our code, to ask about our model, to take pieces of it and adopt it to your model. And third, we are a global community of 250,000 people quarter of a million uh, from 180 countries. It's already 183, um, which with the governance model, we will this, uh, we will transfer the power to control the protocol from this little foundation to the hands of those 250,000 people. Um, so Ada, I will pass on the lead to you and I will just ask you, so first of all, what's the DAO, generally speaking, and what is like the good DAO that we're launching now? Okay, thanks Omar for the uh, introduction. Um, just to verify, is everyone seeing the what the what is a DAO slide? Can someone type in the chat. I'll, I'll do present. Yeah, it's already on present, um, but let's try again. Click present again. Let's hope that it does. Okay. Okay. So Same. basically, the DAO is an acronym for. Guys, now no one's seeing the slides. We're having an issue. And now, can they see the slides? I have. I am seeing the slides. I'm seeing your intro slide. Um, it seems like everyone has control over the presentation. Maybe now. Because I have control over my, what I see. We can click on the slides to change them, says Rob Brown, Rob Brown. That's yeah, not, I, that's not great. We'll fix it. Um, one moment. OK, so I guess everyone should just jump to slide uh, number uh, five. Hadar, are you on share screen? Um, I'm on share. I can change to share screen. I think, I think. You can go to share screen and then go straight through to your AMA. I think that might work for us. Thank you guys, all of your community members, for your patience as we deal with this technical difficulty. <laughs> okay. How about that? Okay. Now Great. we can see it better. Cool. Okay, so a DAO is uh, a decentralized uh, autonomous organization. Basically, what it means is that it's a distributed system for uh, decision making um, using using smart contracts, uh, where code equals law. So everything that is uh, written in the the smart contracts, um, everything that they can do, if the, a decision passes, then the code automatically executed is executed, and decision and the decision is uh, basically um, executed uh, immediately without uh, the bureaucracy um, of uh, regular uh, modern uh, uh, organizations. Um, so the good DAO is um, the decentralized organization that will control uh, the good dollar protocol. Um, basically, it's uh, all of you, all of the, the, the community of the good dollar, of good dollar. Um, and the good dollar protocol is our set of smart contracts. Uh, that control everything around uh, the distribution of uh, UBI and how the good dollar token and its uh, economic model uh, works uh, from how to how much good dollars to mint, um, how is identity uh, managed in the system, um, what are the rewards that are given um, to stakers and so on. 
So um, basically the community will be able to control um, almost every aspect um, of the good dollar uh, protocol. Uh, when we designed, uh, when we first designed the, the good DAO, um, you know, our goals uh, were that the DAO will be um, accessible, inclusive, um, it would try to be uh, democratic, and of course it should be uh, transparent. Um, a DAO is not, it's not, it's not something, um, you know, magical. Um, it, Having a, an organization is not some, an autonomous organization is not uh, something that's very uh, revolutionary. Uh, most DAOs today, um, I see them as, um, you know, corporations with a little bit of, wrapped with a little bit of uh, technology. Um, but basically all the decision making is uh, done in, again, uh, with the, uh, based on shares, uh, the more shares that you have, uh, the greater decision power you have, and um, you can buy your uh, decision, your decision power. And we try to do um, to build a different type of organization. Uh, I think that's the magic of uh, of the blockchain is that it allows us um, to play and theorize and actually try a new type of new types of organizations, and not to stick with the old. Uh, with the old, um, the old top-down hierarchical and um, you know uh, one dollar one vote type of organizations. Um, why am I seeing all those screens now? Okay. Um, so basically, with the good DAO, we want to transfer. Um, the control to the community. Until today, the control uh, was, uh, we controlled every aspect of the, the foundation controlled every aspect of the protocol and moving forward, um, we don't want to be, and we don't think that we can decide uh, what's best for the, for the community. We have a lot of ideas, um, but in the future, we'll be just a part, all of the team will be just a part of the community uh, to offer our ideas and some of them will pass and uh, some of them will not. Um, so this is the basic, um, the basic model of the of the good DAO. Um, the good DAO will be governed by the good tokens, and every every year we will mint um, ninety six million uh, good uh, tokens. So if you will not be, if you will not keep your participating in the DAO or in the community, then your voting power will be diluted uh, with time, uh, which means that it will give uh, options to new people um, to join and have, and have a say in the DAO. Um, we distribute the, the initial voting power um, half to the supporters and half to the claimers. So uh, basically, um, we try to make it Initially, we try to make it uh, a balanced uh, voting system where um, both people that uh, support, that, that uh, give funds to the, to the protocol and both people that use the protocol uh, will have uh, equal say about, um, uh, about the future um, and how to govern uh, the protocol. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. Tomer, um, you want to tell us a little bit about um, what uh, the good DAO can do? Yes. So what kind of decisions can you make on the good DAO? And here it's also important for me to explain the, the, the differences between the good dollar foundation, where, where we work, and to the good DAO. And what's the definition of an entity in, in that term? So an entity is defined by its ability to make decisions. Okay, so if um, the Good Dollar Foundation, which is a UK-based NGO, our ability to make decisions is determined by um, our management board and the people who sit in the room and however we make decisions together. Um, the Good DAO protocol, the Good protocol, the Good Dollar protocol is a set of smart contracts that is sitting on the blockchain. And the decisions that the Good, the good DAO will be able to make 
is only limited to the set of smart contracts that are sitting on the blockchain, which may sound small, but it's actually pretty big because that's everything we have developed so far. So I would give some examples. Um, we have decided, so per, first of all, I would say the good DAO can change everything that is related to the smart contracts. Meaning, even if we decide tomorrow morning that we want to print all the good dollars in the world to uh, someone in, um, in uh, Japan, we can simply do it as a good DAO. In order to do that, we're going to have to make a vote and for us to, to get to a consensus about our agreement. Some examples of um, <clears throat> decisions that can be made. So first of all, minting good dollars, as I just described, we can do it as a community, as bounties, as projects, as good dollar bonds. Uh, a good example would be someone coming from the community saying, hey guys, I would like to develop a new marketplace only for Russia. Would you guys please print me a million good dollars to do that? And we can vote about it as a community. Second is the reserves ratio decline rate. As some of you know, the amount of good dollars that are minted today is defined by the decline of the reserves ratio. How many good dollars are minted daily? Um, a bit similar to what a country is doing when they're doing a monetary expansion. The good DAO has the ability to play with the switch and say, well, let's make it a bit faster, print more money, let's print a bit less money. And we can make it, we can make those decisions by you know, various reasons of maybe we want to increase the activity, maybe we printed too much and that affected the price of good dollar, various reasons you can do that. Upgrade the reserve, including maybe at the moment we have CDI in the reserve, maybe we want to say we want to have CDI and ether in the reserve. We want to have CDI, ether and gold in the reserve. Um, deploy on more blockchains, we want to expand to Solana tomorrow morning. Um, we want to do a segmented UBI, for example, do only some of the good dollars going only to people in Nigeria. Um, and more and more and more options that whatever it is that the community can imagine, it can vote on. Um, second thing is what the community won't decide on, what the good DAO won't decide on. So for example, all the things that are in control of the Good Dollar Foundation, for example, our website, is not something that the good DAO can vote on. They cannot vote on changing the, the color of the website. Um, because this is something that is centralized and held by us. Um, another thing is the wallet, for example. The wallet is something that's sitting on our servers in, the, in, that, in that sense and won't be like the, the good that won't be able to vote on. Um, next, Adao, you're controlling the slides. Um, so how can you participate, um, basically, uh, vote? I think that would be, uh, the most, uh, challenging, uh, uh, part to get as many people as possible, uh, to vote. And of course, um, um, we'll be much more stronger as more, uh, people, uh, vote and show their, um, their will to participate and that they want to make, uh, to make their voice heard. Um, so with the good tokens, you can propose new ideas, uh, you can vote on proposals, and you can also uh, delegate your votes. If you don't want to be uh, very active, you can also just delegate to vote your votes to someone um, that you trust. Um, currently, um, to make proposals and to vote, we don't have um, an ICUI for you yet, but uh, we are uh, working hard for uh, on it, and hopefully uh, it will be ready by the end uh, by the end of this year, um, where you will have um, an interface where people will be able to see the proposals and vote on them. Uh, basically, of course, every proposal um, is is code. So to make proposals, you will probably have to find. Um, someone that knows uh, knows solidity or you can also just uh, of course will be also always be happy to uh, happy to help because um, like we explained before a DAO is an autonomous organization that executes uh, code and it can control um, the code of the good dollar uh, protocol 
So every proposal will have to have some sort of a description and then um, the code to be executed um, by the DAO. Tomer, yes. tell us how to get started. OK. Um, your good tokens uh, needs to be claimed. Um, first of all, there will be a snapshot uh, that we will we already announce, and we will repeat the data. Just don't remember it by hard. Um, that we will take. We will explain at the end of this session what is a snapshot and how does it work. But there will be a time when, uh, according to the calculation that we've shown you, we'll s s we, you could see how many goods uh, can you claim. Then you will have to claim your tokens. The good tokens won't be um, dropped into your wallet, you're going to have to claim it. Initially, we would publish a guide that you're going to have to interact with the smart contracts in order to claim your good tokens. And at a later stage, we will develop a UI for people to be able to claim it. The UI. Don't worry, your good tokens will be waiting for you if you don't know how to use the guide. OK? Um, where would you claim it? Um, that's a question that is repeating itself. Um, so, as you know, your wallet on Ethereum side and Fuse side has exactly the same address. If, for example, your address is entitled of 100 good tokens, you could claim 100 good tokens on Ethereum and 100 good tokens on Fuse. That way you would have exactly the same voting power on both sides. You would have to claim both on Ethereum and both on Fuse to make sure that um, that you have enough uh, good tokens. Um, OK, how will I earn more goods? Will I need to stake my good dollar to earn more goods? There will be three ways to claim more goods after the initial distribution. First of all, claiming good dollar. Every time you will claim good dollar, um, you will be re re rewarded um, with more and more good, good tokens, so you have more control over the system. Second of all, you can stake to the good dollar trust, the UBI fund, meaning you have DAI or whatever currency that we support, and you can stake it, and you would be rewarded with good tokens uh, for staking. And third, you can stake your good dollars to be uh, earning good tokens. Um, fourth, and a very important um, thing to mention is the delegation process. What is delegation? Delegation is your ability to say, well, guys, you're talking about stuff that are a bit too much for me. I don't want to read every vote on the good dollar, but I still care. I can de delegate. I can give the voting power from me to someone else, someone that I trust. I see Rob, and I know that Rob is a... Uh, is an appreciated community member, and I know that Rob cares. So I can delegate my voting power, give my voting power to Rob, and to give him the responsibility to vote in my name. Don't worry. If you delegate your voting power, doesn't mean you lost your voting power. If you ever want to claim it back to you, you could simply say, you can simply stop the delegation. So that's what... Um, um, so that's how they're getting started. Next. Okay. Um, can I buy more good tokens? No, you can't buy. Earning good do good tokens comes yeah, only uh, comes only from either the abilities I said before. And uh, can I pass the good to my kids? You can give them the access to your wallet. So, <laughs> yeah, you can give. I think that, um, you know, the DAO can decide on uh, anything in the future. So maybe the DAO will uh, decide that uh, and develop some sort of uh, inheritance uh, mechanism. Um, personally, inheritance is one way uh, to keep the inequality in the world. So maybe it's not such a good idea, but uh, that's just my personal opinion. So the DAO will have to uh, make the final say. And that's also the reason why we didn't make the, the, good, uh, the good transferable. 
Um, you know, we had a lot of uh, discussions about the mechanics of, uh, of the good, uh, good tokens. It wasn't easy uh, to decide. Uh, eventually, we found uh, um, the middle ground, but we don't want uh, decision power to be uh, accumulated, you know, um, without actual uh, participation and long-term participation um, in the protocol. Tomer, that's uh, that's another slide for you. Mm. Okay. Um, what is the process for making and improving a proposal? First of all, only wallets with above zero point twenty five uh, good tokens, twenty like zero point twenty five percent of the total supply of good tokens, can make new proposals. Everything that I explain now can be changed and revoted by the community. Okay, so that's what we call the proposal threshold. It's either you have by yourself 0 0.25 or the community delegated to you um, 0 0.25. Second, any wallet holding good can vote in favor or against. Third, each proposal has a timeline of uh, a time period of 14 days. Each proposal has a threshold of 3% a quorum. If less than 3% voted in favor, of the proposal, in favor of the proposal, the proposal is overruled. If more than 3% in favor and less than 3% against, the offer is enacted. If more than 3% in favor and more than 3% against, the, tr the proposal turns to a relative voting mechanism. Once a proposal passes a quorum, it's moving to a two days countdown to allow people to act accordingly and <clears throat> votes continue during the countdown. If there is a game changer in the last 24 hours of the countdown period, there's another day added. There's another day added uh, to the countdown. Any proposal with above 51% votes will be automatically approved and moved uh, to a countdown period. Okay, so um, a little bit about um, if you want to uh, help develop uh, good dollar and the protocol. Of course, um, we are always, always, always looking for people that want to uh, that want to help. There are so many things uh, to develop, so many ideas by people. Uh, from the community that I hear, and I just wish that everyone was a developer and, uh, you know, could follow their own uh, dreams and, uh, and ideas. Um, so, I'm first of all, I'm always happy, happy to help. Um, you can always, um, you can always, you can find me on the Good Dollar Marketplace also, uh, where you can schedule um, a meeting with me uh, if you want, and I will help you any way that... Uh, uh, that I can. I'm available on our Discord uh, channel and, in, and on Telegram. We also have on Telegram the Good uh, Dollar Hackers Group. Um, it's invite only, I think, because of spam, but just ask uh, someone uh, to, uh, to invite you. Um, we have um, a few uh, bounties also open, and hopefully, and I'm, once I have some time, I will post more bounties. Um, so you can also earn uh, while uh, helping uh, to develop a good dollar. And basically, you can see uh, regarding the new version, the the new protocol version that that we hopefully that should come out uh, next month. Um, you can um, you can see um, the GitHub link. Um, maybe I can even. Of course, everything that we do is open source. So just go to our GitHub. Basically, our GitHub is good dollar. Um, you can see everything that we do there. Specifically, the the new version of the protocol is um, is here at the good dollar uh, good dollar protocol uh, repository. Um, here you can see the links um, to the governance uh, script. Um, basically, it's the airdrop script 
where you can see, um, if you're a developer, you can see, and we would like you also to verify our, our, our uh, work and that everything that we did is correct. But we also had the new protocol uh, go through uh, an audit by uh, by Certic, and you can see, and um, you can also read, um, you can also read the audits there in the repository. They're also there. Uh, you can see what issues they found and how we and uh, how we fix them. Tomer, you want to tell us about the snapshot? Yes, it's me in the snapshot. Um, should I think I lost my connection? Can you hear me? Yes, we heard oh. you use the oh. S word. OK, so snapshot. Um, as we explained, there is a moment in time where we will calculate how many times have you claimed good dollar, how many good dollars do you hold, and that moment in time will uh, that like according to that moment in time, we will distribute those uh, good tokens to you. So it's important that you will design your strategy reaching the snapshot. Snapshot is called. Is, what is called a snapshot is that moment in time where we take a snapshot, a picture of the blockchain at that moment, calculating how many times did you claim, how many good dollars do you have, um, and that will happen on September 29th, uh, 12 UTC. If you, like me, have a problem with international times, go to World Time Buddy and uh, check your local time zone. Um, highly recommended. Um, so as I explained, the snapshot is a picture that we are taking uh, the state of the blockchain at that time. And that's how we calculate everything we just explained. Uh, why do we do the snapshot? We do the snapshot so we have a moment in time that can be called truth. Because if we are chasing uh, moving targets, you know, so this moment there is X amount of claim, people claimed. Tomorrow morning there's Y amount of people claimed. Someone forgets them. So everybody will have the time to prepare to that moment, and that's what, what we found like the most fair way of doing it. Will the snapshot take into account my good dollars holding both on Ethereum and Fuse? Yes, both of good dollars on Ethereum, on Fuse, and on liquidity pools if you staked your money. Um, will you publish the results of the snapshot? Yes, snapshot uh, will be published and shared within 24 hours. Not only that, we will give uh, more sophisticated developers a way to test um, our uh, calculation mechanism. Um, if my good dollar is staked, will I receive good tokens? Should I unstake my tokens for the snapshot? No, do not unstake your tokens. You can leave your tokens staked. Don't worry about that. Um, yes. I think that uh, yeah, we are uh, done with the with the questions that we that we received, um, and we can start uh, taking uh, questions. Um, any questions that you have, um, Tomer? I already saw that uh, Diego. Diego, uh, I don't know if uh, it's like. Uh, I think it's uh, just one Diego. <laughs> Everyone's names look funny, but so, if there are any other questions. Guys, uh, we have a few questions that have come through more than once that you can speak to. One question that we got is how do I actually get a 0.25% good so I can get enough to get a proposal? So I think people would love to hear how do they actually get more good? How do they earn more influence both in advance of the snapshot and going forward? So, um, so before the snapshot, the best thing that you can do is uh, buy good dollars and claim uh, regularly. That's the way to uh, increase your stake with uh, good before the um, before the snapshot. Um, after the snapshot, in order to get to 0.25 percent, um, either you would have to slowly accumulate it, or or you can have people uh, delegate it to you. So I think that's the most, most important thing, and that would what make a good dollar strong. I think that also Tomer said that in the in the comments. Um, 
if we gather around the communities um, and we build the communities, um, this is what will make uh, uh, good or strong. So hopefully we will see uh, communities form around uh, thought leaders um, that people will delegate uh, to them. Um, and also I can say that uh, that for, uh, you know, me and Tomer, when we uh, initially discussed um, the design um, of the voting power in, uh, in, the, in the protocol, um, we also wanted to have a third um, stakeholder besides the supporters and the claimers. We also wanted to have uh, communities, meaning that uh, a third of the voting power would go to claimers, a third to the supporters, and a third to uh, to communities. Um, but we wanted to first of all to release something uh, to make it simple, and also to um, you know we don't know if the if it's the best idea. But um, so hopefully we will be able to propose it um, in the future uh, to the DAO and maybe the DAO will uh, accept it. Want to add anything to that, Tomer? No. Uh, next question. We've hey, gotten so a number of questions about uh, where the voting actually was going to take place. So I think initially where the voting is going to take place, and then uh, if there's any plan for people to be able to vote in the wallet is another question we've been asked. Mm -hmm. So um, that's going to be happening in few phases. Um, initially, the phase one of the launch, my apologies, everybody, but I'm coming from uh, a philosophy of a minimal valid product. So initially, the governance is going to be launched only in form of smart contracts. At the second stage, we are going to have a UI where you could connect uh, your wallet um, and make the votes over there. Okay. At the third, in a later stage, I hope we would see it also in the wallet. Um, yes. So that's where the voting would take place uh, in those steps. As I said, smart contracts initially. Second, we'll have the UI. Third, hopefully, we'll get to the wallet as well. And the voting, we have to remember that the voting would have to take, because we have um, basically two DAOs, one on Ethereum and one on Fuse. So the, when there's a decision um, or a proposal, then the proposal would have to be either for for the Fuse DAO or for the Ethereum DAO. Um, and so we understand at the moment that uh, voting on, uh, on Ethereum is, um, is not possible for most people, and it's also not, uh, not scalable. Um, so we are thinking and actively uh, working on solutions on how to actually um, scale the voting system, so that everybody would be able to vote and have an effect also on uh, the Ethereum uh, DAO and not just on Fuse. We have another quote or another question about um, the framework. So Felix actually asked, why doesn't everyone have just one vote? So I think it would be great if you guys could explain a bit more about uh, ongoing participation in the ecosystem and why we thought it was important that uh, we reward participation instead of just one person, one vote. So I would answer that because Adal really wanted to do uh, one, uh, one person, one vote. And I was the one uh, fighting the other way. So um, the other way around. Um, one of the hardest things to make is not just give people control, but actually make them use that power that you gave them. Um, in a perfect world where everybody participate, uh, one, one person what vote could have worked. But I believe decentralization is a process. And I actually believe that what we have done is the minimal barrier to decentralization that I could find. 
And I hope that if we will look at the of, of the movement that Good Dollar went through from Yoni Asia in 2008, having an idea, um, moving it into the hands of Ito, from there into the hands of a separated entity called the Good Dollar Foundation, from us moving it to the hands of the Good Dow. This Good Dow that we designed is a balance between the fastest moving and decentralization that I believe we could uh, came up with in a more scalable world where Ethereum gas fees doesn't cost insane amounts and where we have everything ready. I believe the power, the balance of power should be, be flattening out over time. But the same as you know, we move the power from us uh, to the good DAO, that would be up to the DAO to make the next decision of how to redistribute its power. Um, and as a, as a DAO just answered, that would be up to the, to the decision of the DAO. So um, that's what we defined, you know, when, when you build uh, the, the trilemma of blockchain, which is um, security, scalability, and decentralization. And Always when you pull one side of the triangle, you you give up on another. Um, and that's the balance that we have found. Uh, we know it's not perfect, but we hope that the hive of the people, the, the, the swarm of the, the people's mind will find a perfect solution that it will be always perfected, perfect for that time in life. And they will have to search for the next perfect thing, for the next community, next people, and so on and so on. Um, thanks, Tomer. I'm going to answer a few questions that I see coming through that I want to summarize for the community. So one question that was asked by Gustavo was, will there be a community budget that's managed through the DAO to which Hadar responded, that's up to the DAO to decide? What does this mean? It means that if different members of the community want to begin to allocate a portion of money that's being generated for the protocol to fund community projects. That's an example of something that the DAO will be able to decide. Um, I've seen a number of questions run through, come through also about how do I get more involved in building good dollar for my local community? How do I get more involved in uh, marketing it directly? I encourage all of you guys to check out our ambassador program. Um, which is on our website. I dropped a link in the chat a little while ago. And I and in particular, where this is a program where if you do things like create content, um, create communities, actively market good dollar in your community and teach people in your community how to use good dollar to better improve their standing, um, you'll get rewards for doing that in addition to becoming a prominent member of the community. Um, so please make sure that you check out the ambassador program um, and make sure that uh, you, and if you have a, and just to say, if you have a particular idea of something you want to do, say in Portugal or in your community in Cuba, feel free to send me or Jess an email directly. So I'm on at gooddollar.org. I dropped it in the um, chat. Feel, if you have a community proposal, this is something we've started to work on. So please feel free to research, to reach out to me directly. And the third question that we've gotten a lot of is about buying good dollars. And so just really quickly about that. Um, this is not something you're going to be able to do currently through the wallet. And it's not something that the foundation supports. However, there are three places where you can currently buy good dollars. The first is through the reserve. The second, directly through the good dollar reserve. Um, once V2 launches, there will be an interface to do this. And so that's an important part for you guys to understand. So once V2 launches, there will be an interface where you can buy good dollars directly through the reserve. The two other places where you can currently purchase good dollars are not through the foundation, but through other decentralized protocols. So through Uniswap and on FuseSwap. Um, at this point in time, there's no vision for people to be able to purchase good dollars directly through the wallet that they have. So that's something I wanted to state clearly to the community this morning. Um, one other note that I just got from Tomer, let me make sure I link it in here, 
is that uh, the foundation will also be contributing to a community budget for the DAO. So um, in addition to the DAO deciding to have its own community fund, we also, the foundation also will be contributing to a community fund, which is an important part, that point that I forgot to mention. Um, good dollar mobile app. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll hand it back. And we're almost at time. Um, I saw a question about the good dollar model, maybe uh, the reserve. How does the reserve work? Works? Maybe, Tomer, you want to um, answer that again, because uh, I think, yeah, it's a complicated uh, uh, subject that I also yes. never um, completely get. Yes, if I can uh, send someone the dashboard and I can someone share it, I would love to. Can I share the dashboard? So I can, it's, it's easier sh to show it when yeah, I just press on the share. Oh, yeah. here we go. Share. Share screen. Okay, magic. Magic, I tell you. Technology is amazing. Okay, can everybody see the dashboard that I'm sharing that is coming up? Okay, yeah. please someone say yes. Thank you, Adam. Okay. So basically the reserve is a pool of tokens. At the moment, the pool of tokens is all holding only CDI. Okay. At the moment, in the reserve, there is one hundred and ninety-nine thousand dollars. Okay. But the value of total good dollar outside is not equal to the value in the reserve. There is what we call a reserve ratio, meaning for every dollar in the reserve, there is a dollar divided by 0.84%, giving us the total value of good dollar outside. So in real life right now, there is a $199,000 in the reserve. The total market cap of good dollar in that sense is $235,000 meaning 199 divided by 84% gives us the market cap. As you can see, the reserves ratio declines over time. It started at 100%, okay? And it declines at about a ratio of, we can see about 15% a year, okay? That's the yearly decline, 15.18%. Now, every time the reserves ratio declines, the amount of money in the reserves stays the same, but you can see that the market cap is slowly growing. Those are the good dollar tokens that you guys claim every day. We're basically printing more money on top of the value that we have in the reserve, which is declining the reserve ratio and increasing the market cap. Another thing that needs to be learned about the reserve is that you could always buy and sell from the reserve. We will have in V2 a nice UI for you guys to interact with it. You can buy, meaning depositing money to the reserve, and the reserve will mint more good dollars for you. Selling your good dollars would mean sending your good dollars to the reserve. The reserve will destroy your good dollars and withdraw some money from the reserve. Um, that's how does the reserve work. Anna, any more questions? Um, we have. Okay. Um, I'll just make a. I'll just put out a call here for all of you guys who are asking questions about where do I meet people? Uh, where where can I learn how to exchange good dollars? How can I use how to use Fuse Swap? Please make sure you're in our different community channels. Um, both on in our in our good dollar telegram groups and on discord you'll find community members who can help you solve and answer those questions um i have another i've gotten another few questions about um where can i find materials in certain languages so this is actually one of the uses of the ambassador group so um we use in local ambassadors to help translate our materials to spanish and um to, to any other language. The majority of materials we've had translated are Spanish, but um, if this is something that you're interested in, 
if you want to translate materials into Italian, we will give uh, ambassadors rewards for doing so. So that's another question that we've got. Um, in general, we have a lot of announcements coming up. Um, and so make sure if you're not already following, uh, subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on Twitter, follow us on uh, on Twitter and on the, re the rest of the social channels, be active in our Telegram groups. This is the best way to stay involved. We also, for those of you who have asked questions about how do I figure, how do I learn about Good Dollar community members near me, um, over the next, in the next week or so, we'll actually be launching a new community site that will provide you guys with a directory of all of your local good dollar community groups and active members in the ecosystem. So that's um, another question that we've got in. Um, anything else? Let's say, okay, so, um, the next, I guess, then the last thing that I wanted to say is just to summarize next steps. So in terms of in terms of what's coming with V2 is we are working really, really hard to push the V2 smart contract launch live as soon as possible in the next few weeks. The DAP will be coming uh, subsequently or after that, hopefully no more than six to eight weeks after the smart contracts are pushed live. So just make sure that you're staying uh, up to date with us because we have a lot of important and exciting announcements as we bring V2 live and on chain. Um, I hope you all saw yesterday the one million dollars that was added to our good dollar trust the staking contract that mints good dollars for everyone um and we have more that's coming so as we prepare to scale so that's my final words and i'm just so thrilled that we have so many of you guys join us from all around the world today thank you we really really appreciate it this is that goodbye final words Hey, no, Anna, those are can, my final words. You guys are the hosts. Yeah, you're on the, you're on yes, the I have a question. Can people open the cameras? Can we just like ask everybody to open the camera somehow so we can see their faces? Are you guys oh. able to uh, open your camera? That's I what I think so. No, they're not able. Like, I don't think about... so. I because even I couldn't open my camera, so I don't think people are able. Um, to. I can if you just give me one second, and then we can all see each other. Let's see, maybe it's a, a matter of like settings that we can change. Yeah, you can do this, uh, Tomer, if you're on the account. Um, I can't. I, 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 I will say that this is our first time using Livestorm, and I actually think it's, it's awesome, but uh, next time we'll be a little savvier with the tech, although it's awesome. Mm. Yep, um, I promise we will make it better next time. Actually, if you guys could write in the comments, like what you, what kind of community webinars you would like for us to host, because we enjoy doing these and we want to do more of them. Um, so if you have any suggestions for topics, that would also be really helpful. Because we have, I, a have ton. I actually so have a suggestion, which maybe we'll run a poll for, is that we've got in a bunch of questions about how the reserve works and how the trust works. So I actually think that in advance of v2 there's no better webinar we can do than another refresher and explainer of the model and um how the smart contract flow comes together yeah so can That's you our guys turn your camera on now they does that work Um, how many are we on this presentation? So I saw we I saw at one point we were up to 80 people. Just so you guys know, there were over 900 registrants from over 120 countries as a sense of how global our community is. So one of the things I'm really looking forward to is um, is uh, actually doing doing the recap of how many people joined us from all over the world today, because we're truly one of the most global communities. Um, that's all. Okay. So I guess that's it for us. 
We'll see you guys for our next live storm, which will be about the V2 smart contracts, how the reserve works, how the money flow works to get everyone pumped again about staking for global basic income for everyone. Much love. Much love Me to you guys, to all of our community. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.